This video will explore M Drummer's rhythms, an important area where we can turn a basic or rigid groove into a more fluid, natural sounding rhythm. Let's go over the basic controls. The play button starts the rhythm and stops it when clicked again. The intro button plays a small introduction, then falls back to play through the rhythm. M Drummer varies the intro, so repeating this action will cause an alternate intro to play. Beat starts the rhythm with no form of introduction. Break can be used to break up the rhythm by adding drum rolls or hits that bridge the verse and chorus, or at the end of the eighth bar for example. L break or long break serves the same purpose, but is generally twice as long as a regular break. Outro simply ends the rhythm non-abruptly. The level parameter adjusts not only the volume, but the complexity too. A real drummer would rarely make sudden level changes, therefore changing the parameter has no effect until a control button is pushed, for example break, L break, verse or chorus. I will show both maximum and minimum levels, so you can easily hear the difference between them. Verse 1, verse 2 and the chorus buttons use predetermined levels. Verse 1 is set to 25%, not too complex, not too loud. Verse 2 would generally have a little more action, therefore is set to 45%. Finally, the chorus is set to 75%, more powerful and more complex. Let's take a look at some of the different rhythms. The file selector displays M Drummer's preset rhythm folders. The list box displays the actual rhythms within the folders. As you can see in the root folder, the default rhythm is selected. I'll select one at random. As shown in the drum set video, you can either double click the selection or click load to load it in. You can merge rhythms together to create unusual and often complex rhythms. The merge feature works best when adding single components. I'll start by merging a hand clap and listen to how that sounds. All you need to do is make your selection and click merge. Let's also merge a shaker and a tambourine. When making your choices, it's always a good idea to check you still like the sound when using the break command or the different verse or chorus parts. The Generate button will generate a random rhythm for you that is different each time you click. You can load in different rhythms for the verse and chorus. Simply select the rhythm you want and click Load Verse. The rhythm Jungle 14 is now loaded for verse 1 and 2. I'll load in a chorus rhythm that is very different to the verse. An area that we haven't discussed yet is the Bass Rhythms folder. This folder contains sub-rhythms, which are used by M Drummer's Rhythm Generator. Bass Rhythms are essentially simple background rhythms, which the Rhythm Generator uses with loops and essential beats to build complete rhythms. This area will be discussed further in future tutorial videos, but we can hear a few examples so you can get a basic idea. The Templates folder below holds polymorphic rhythms. This means each time you load in the rhythm from the Templates folder, a new one will be generated. Let's listen to some so you can hear the differences.
there are more parameters and settings we can explore that deal with tempo and feel. Tempo is currently synced to the host, therefore disabled, but you can change tempo by adjusting a parameter or tapping. Velocity can easily be edited to suit your project. You can skip instantly between quarter speed, half speed, double speed, and quadruple speed. Humanization creates a human feel by affecting inaccuracy and deflections. Negative values increase M Drummer's accuracy. Positive values increase human characteristics, such as imperfect timing. Shuffle changes the notes from straight notes to triplets. The higher the value, the more the triplet effect. There are more additional rhythm properties, so let's take a look at what they do. Auto Crash dictates whether a crash is played when returning to a verse or chorus after a break or long break. I'll demonstrate this first at 100%. Listen out for the crash when returning to the verse. The crash hit each time. Now we can hear the difference when the parameter is set very low. No crash was hit when returning to the verse. Rimshot level changes the snare to a rim hit when it falls below the threshold that you set. As you can hear, this quick alteration has added more variation and it was pretty simple to do. Velocity range defines the velocity depending on the rhythm levels. When the rhythm level is at 100%, as it is now, maximum velocity is used. The maximum range can be edited manually by changing the parameter. When the rhythm is at 0%, as it is now, the minimum velocity is used. We can edit the velocity range for a 0% level, again by adjusting the parameter. Velocity range defines dynamic range throughout the song. Symbol Variation Mode gives you control to vary the symbols used. This feature can affect all symbols, just the crash symbols. It can be disabled and applied to all symbols everywhere. Tom Offset is a quick way to edit the pitch of the toms. Different pitches of tom suit different styles of music. With the parameter set to minus two, the lowest pitch toms will be used. This is ideal for heavy styles. Moving the parameter up to 2 will instruct M Drummer to use the highest pitch tops. This is ideal for lighter styles. Lastly, there are multiple channels we can use that have two main uses. We can store up to nine different rhythms which we can quickly skip between. We can also seamlessly layer background percussion to our current rhythm. I will load in a different rhythm for channel two.
and another for channel 3. We could now skip between rhythms or play them simultaneously. A great advantage of using channels is that you can add background percussion without disturbing your current rhythm. I will add a tambourine rhythm to channel 2. And now a shaker rhythm to channel 3. Both the shaker and the tambourine add extra sparkle to our initial rhythm without impeding it in any way. We hope you have found this tutorial useful. Next time we will be demonstrating the MIDI command method, which will help you to use M Drummer effectively in your own arrangements.